a scarf. I made this stitch, I made a cape years and years and years ago. And I made it with 36 stitches, very large needles. And I made 12, 24, 36. But this one has 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25. This is the neck. This is the way the neck is going to be. And this is going to be like, it is going to look like this. So it's going to be very pretty. Now, I am going to show you, because this already has the 25 knitted all the way through, and I already went all the way back. I'm going to knit one, two, this has 25. So I'm going to knit only 20. And this is really fancy. I love to do these things. I have done them for many, many times. They are great gifts. Everybody likes a scarf like this. And I do it with all sorts of needles, all sorts of yarns, and you can make your own combination of yarns. This one has two. See, those two. So, anyway. I have a cape. Uh, the instructions are somewhere. I did it many years ago. I'll have to find it and put it up because a lot of people made it and they liked it. So anyway, I need to make sure I have five left. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I had 25 and now I leave these without knitting. I turn I turn my needles and in order not to leave a hole because usually the instructions they give you for these scarves you, you, there's a hole there and it doesn't look nice at all so this is a trick and this is very important you pass this stitch this way and hug your yarn to the back and pass this stitch back. Now you keep going and of course you're going to do the 20, the 20 back and then you're going to make 15 and I will do this but I do want to show you in another scarf how you hug that yarn because when it's very hairy like this it is not that noticeable. So I think this is a better way to see it. Is that okay, Anna? Mm -hmm. So you can make as many stitches as you want as long as you can. A scarf is usually divided in five parts. So that means you have to do it you have to go and come back four times. So you have one, two, three, four, five. So now I'm going to make 15 only. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So the last time we stopped at the 20 and we came back, now we stop at 15. We have 10 left. So we turn our work. Our yarn is in this side because we, you were knitting this way. So you take the, the, the stitch from your right hand side needle, your right needle, you pass it through, put your yarn to the back, pass that stitch back to your right hand and keep knitting. So I'm going to make 
this here is and then I'm going to pick up the other one so that you can see clearly how I come back because it's uh, when when it's not a hairy yarn it's much easier to see so now I have the 15 and the next time I am going to make 10 and of course you can use a cheat sheet because you, you put little lines on when you made the 25, when you made the 20, when you made the 15, when you made the 10. So now I'm going to make 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, nine, ten, and I turn my work. Those are left without knitting. I pass this one to my left hand needle, put my yarn to the back, pass it back to my right needle, and keep knitting. And like that I don't get holes because if you do not hug the next stitch you end up with holes. Sometimes it looks nice because it's like on purpose but I don't think I like it that much and it's, this is just a trick that I found many years ago and now I'm going to make only five one two three four, five, I turn my work, I put my yarn, no, 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 I pass this stitch, I put my yarn to the back, pass it back, and I keep knitting my five back. So this is what's happening. What's happening is that you have this is the first one which I made 25 and I came back and then I made 20 and I came back and then I made 15 and I came back and then I made 10 and I came back and then I made five and I came back. So that's why you get to have a round thing like this which is going to be the flary part and this is going to be the neck part. So I will bring my other knitting so that you can see it better. This is how the scarf looks. So if you put it around your neck, this is the way it looks. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful. Isn't that pretty? So it really has a lot of flair there. So this is the neck part. On this one I cast it on, how many? I think I put 30. I think I put 30, I'm almost sure because I think I made a multiple of 6. Yes, I think I put 30. So, what I did is that I did my 30 and come back. And so I am going to make 24 because I am making 5 sections that means I'm going to do the four times the coming back. So it is much easier to see in a yarn like this because when you have hairy yarn like the other one it is difficult to see what's going on. That's why I'm doing on this one. Besides I have more knitted in this one than in the other one and you can see much better how it looks. And of course Anna will take some pictures of both once they're done. 
Let's see, let's, let me see if I have six left. Two, four, six. No, I have one more. So now I have six left. Two, four, six. Okay. So that means I have 24 here. And I turn my work. My yarn is in the front. You pick up your yarn. The stitch on your right hand needle, only the first one, and as it shows, you pass it to your left needle. Your yarn is going to go to the back. This stitch comes back to your front, to the right needle, and now you keep knitting back. And like that, you don't get holes. So I'm doing the same thing I did on the other one, but this is a multiple of 30. I mean a multiple of 6, which makes 30. So what I'm doing here is that I'm making 30 and coming back. 24 and coming back. 16 and coming back. 12 and coming back and 6 and coming back and this is how it looks and, and there's no holes so you see how pretty that looks and that's that's the trick about it so let's do it once more because we need to make sure that this is understood so I'm coming back because I already made 24 And it's not 24, I think. It is 24, so. So now it's 18. Because I already did the 30, and I came back. I did the 24, and I came back. Now I make 18. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, and I should have 12 stitches left, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, there we go, and I turn, and I do the same thing, that's my yarn in the front, I pass one stitch from my right hand, to the left needle, my yarn goes and hugs that stitch and takes it to the back. I bring that stitch back to my right hand needle, and now you see it's hugging it, and now I go back. 